friends. I hope you're all doing wonderfully. Um, I just wanted to check if, if the music is too loud because I did do some playing around with that. So there is a very small chance that it is blasting you guys right now. But hello, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing amazingly. How is your week? I'm going to tell you a bit about my week. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram and you have Instagram, I recommend you follow me because I do give uh, some life updates on there. But I had a wonderful holiday. I went up to the Scottish Highlands. I had a spa day. I had a big hiking day. And it was just absolutely wonderful. I had an amazing time. Um, I am a little bit behind on recording now, but I'm zen and I'm rested. And that is the important bit. So yes, uh, you got braces, Morgan. That's so exciting. I know that they can hurt and they can suck and they're not great when you have them but I have had braces and I am so happy with my teeth. So um, stick with it, you're on the right path. I'm very proud of you, good job. Um, you can't hear the music. Okay, let me grab that. I'll just make, I literally just want it to be like a background noise. I don't necessarily want you to be able to like hear, hear it, if that makes sense. Um, hello, Rattle isn't okay. She's talking about SSO positively. <laughs> She's being mind controlled. That's that's all we know. Um, Ollie at the Yard, thank you for your 79p. Uh, that is P, isn't it? Yes, and the heart emoji at the end. Thank you so much, Alia. I hope you've had a wonderful week. Um, how are you guys all doing from the last time I saw you? It was last Sunday. Um, <laughs> you can make fun of my building. I am zen now. I am completely 100% like nonchalant, and I have changed some stuff in the barn anyway. So maybe you won't actually have anything to make fun of me for. Um, hi, Snowy. How are you doing? You got a horse in real life. That's so exciting, Nicole. That's a big step in real life. Um, that's incredible. Good, great, terribly. I have exam week now. Best of luck, Olivia. You will do amazingly. And don't forget, exams can feel really stressful and so important and there's so much riding on them because sometimes there is. But if you do your best, that's all that can be asked of you. Trust me, that sounds like ridiculous and it's, it's like, oh my God, Abby, you don't understand. There's so much pressure on me. But if you are genuinely, you study hard and you try your best, that's really all anyone can ask of you. Um, okay, but what if we mention the window? The window's been changed, so. So you can't mention the window anymore. <laughs> Hello, um, my horse is Willow. That is a beautiful name for a, uh, a horse. That is a wonderful name. Your dog is watching with you. Say hello to your dog for me, Isabel. That's so cute. My horse says hi. Hi to Dolly's horse. You've overcome sickness. Congratulations. That is always great. I actually came down with a bit of um, a sore throat this morning. It's not too bad. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to uh, to get out of it. But you got your braces off, so. Someone's got their braces on. Steve, Steve has got their braces off. That's so exciting. Do you feel that when you smile now? You like you're so much more confident. Um, I had, I didn't have bad teeth in in terms of like they weren't damaged, but they were all just sort of like crowded and crooked, and I just like really wasn't confident. Um, but now I'm like yay. <laughs> so it was, um, I actually had my braces quite late as well. So I think I first got my braces. Um, I think. Six months after I turned 18 and I had them all the way through until I think I was 20 um, And I'm 22 now. So exciting stuff um, Just know if you are an adult and you're getting braces There is nothing to be ashamed of that was a big thing for me I was like, oh, I'm so old and getting braces honestly the stuff it will do for your confidence It doesn't even matter. It does not even matter um, Your minecraft won't start. Oh, no, actually speaking of minecraft, right? I wanted to show you guys because um, a lot of you have been joining the Pinecraft SMP um, and when you basically log in so the discord links are down below if you want to join that I feel like the music's quite loud that might just be me though um, if you guys want to join it's free to play um, basically to, the IP is pinecraftequestrian.com and if you need any help if you have any questions if you just want to chat to people about Minecraft the Pinecraft SMP discord is linked below as well so when you first like log in right um, here's a random person now you might notice that uh, I don't have 3d textures on it's because I'm in forge you'll be able to see it don't worry um when you first uh, come in there will be this like sign it'll be in a different position to mine because I'm on a different version uh but this is the Pinecroft lobby 
just to just to show you guys this is the lobby so when you join in um this is where you will spawn if you want to go play mini games they're over there uh if you well the rp is not open at the minute so i can go through that portal but you won't be able to and the smp is just go uh just go over to your right uh the portal is just through there as you can see this is way to smp um and server news Oh, oh, they have a server. I didn't actually know that was there. Yeah, there you go. Call me horse girl's gonna go in and do a demonstration. There you go. So, um, if you guys want to join, the SMPs just that way. If you want to play mini games, that's over here. We've got some people standing this month's top's biggest earner. I wish it said their name, but it doesn't. Uh, biggest XP grinder and top time played this month. Izzy Gamer, member for one month. Really enjoying these lives. Thank you. Thank you, Izzy. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I enjoy them too. They're a nice um interaction period. I feel like I get to like talk to you guys and a bit uh get to know you guys a bit better as well you might notice uh, i'm gonna bring attention to it but you might notice i stutter a little bit i don't know why i've been doing it over the past couple days i don't know how to fix it but uh there you go we'll pop on through to the role play server um if you need help getting the swim mod you could go to uh, Pinecraft because um, we do have some people who do modding on there, but I'd recommend going to the Swem Discord. They can help you the most. Um, so I think Queasy is online. You might not be able to recognize her name because it's got the uh, the colors on it. Um, I also got a new skin. Before I before I mention anything else, I want you guys to have a look at my new skin. Now I actually um, commissioned someone to do a skin, and I really wasn't happy with what it looked like at all. Um, and then Queasy was like, "Let me have a go." So uh, Queasy made me the skin and honestly I really like it um I'm I'm like thinking I could do different variants of it uh, ignore that one single pixel that's just below my belt uh don't know what that is or why that is but we could fix it um but I'm pretty happy with it I like it I think it's nice and unique she did say I look like I have a big head though but uh we got a big old bow at the back I like it I really do like it uh you think the skin is good thanks I made queasy make it for me <laughs> she wants to win it right now <laughs> actually you might have I've already spotted it but some something is very much different very much different about this barn uh, you can see it up in the corner <laughs> I've I've changed a few things essentially I said to Queasy I was like I'm not too happy with everything I don't think it looks how I want it to look and uh, she was like okay have a look at my barn and um, uh, you can take some inspiration so that's exactly what I did she helped me a little bit but I have changed the color of the roof. I know that's going to be very controversial, very controversial, but I have made it. Um, this color technically is called lime. That's not at all yellow, that is blue, blue slash green. The, the roof is different. The roof shape is different. You might notice the front is different too. We've got a barn sliding doors now and the windows, look, if you go inside, are centered. So you can't make fun of my roof anymore. Yeah. Vomit green. Why would you say that? That is not vomit green. This is this is like too blue to be vomit green. In my opinion, vomit green is much darker. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I have like a good example of that color. Like probably like this, but not quite. I like that green actually. Yeah, no, this is not vomit green. This is like aqua green. Yeah, aqua green. I know we lost the pink roof. We have a slightly different design on the barn as well before i think it was all birch and i've changed it uh the bottom bit is polished diorite and the top bit is siding medium i'm pretty sure this is from the swim mod um yeah teal slash mint i think that, that that's probably my second favorite color i think it's gorgeous um Russell said something that i wanted to to make fun of it wasn't vomit green, it was the thing before. The bow at the back looks like eyes and a nose. A tiger will not be able to sneak up on you because he'll think you're looking at him. What well, I'm I'm I come built in with a um prey defense system. I'm just watching you from with my bow. You'll you'll never know. I'm like those um like snakes. Is it snakes that look like they have eyes on the top of their head? I'm like one of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I will be attacked by a tiger, so thanks, thanks, Rattle. Um, so that's pretty much what was altered. As you can see, obviously, the inside looks a bit different. I'm thinking of knocking out a few panels just to make it a bit brighter in here. It is still... It's, it's, it's kind of dark in here, I think. Um, but actually, up here, just above, this is like the tax slash feed room. Just up here is... I put a hayloft, so let's just climb this. Here we go. So uh, I also put a hammock because look at this. Tell me this isn't a good view. I mean, it's going to darken now, but um, yeah, you have like an amazing little like skylight that you can sit under. 
And I think, I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. Um, I always wanted, oh, actually, another thing that um, I forgot to mention is these hay blocks actually have uh, physics. So you can actually literally like drop them and then you could have somebody at the bottom like go and pick them up or, um, I mean, you can just like throw the, the item, but I think it's kind of cool. I think it is kind of cool. So to get onto the server, the IP is pinecraftequestrian.com. If you need it written out, it is in the description below. Um, it will say IP and you'll just need the latest version on both Bedrock and Java. So if you play on PC, iPad, Xbox, PS, anything four five three maybe i don't know if you can play on three uh your switch all of that uh just go ahead and log on to pinecraft equestrian.com because that's the that's the ip i did actually shuffle the the blackboard the blackboard's over here and i did figure out oh god that's terrible i was gonna say hi oh that's not what i wanted to do e e there we go and then uh Yay! That's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> well, so we've got the chalkboard there. Um, that's not for the RP server, right? Technically it is, but the IP server isn't open. Is PvP enabled? Um, not in the main server, but we've been uh, toying with the idea for April Fools to sneakily enable enable PvP and not tell anyone. So I thought, I mean, it's far enough away you'll probably forget, but uh, I thought that was quite quite a fun fun thing. But I think some of the mini games have PvP. If you wanna if you wanna beat some people up. Maybe try the mini games out. Um, hello, Midnight and Bianca. How are you doing? Your Minecraft works. That's amazing, Isabel. That's awesome. Missed opportunity. Hey, I'm off my game today, Rattle. I really am. I really, I could have started that with hey. That's shocking. Um, I do actually need to add my horsies in, but the stalls aren't technically set up yet. Uh, we do have Sporkle out here. So one thing I wanted to ask. Yes. Oh, yes. I, f I completely forgot to say. First of all, the panic's gone because... I've had enough of the ridicule. I removed it. Um, secondly, Queasy helped me border this area. I've removed the car park for now. We'll put something else there, I think. Um, and uh, we've also bordered the path. So I've also put in these absolutely lovely, lovely little gardens. RDR and Minecraft confirmed. Um, I, I was like, I'm gonna maybe spoil something. Essentially, there's a 100 days challenge that I am looking to do that is a bit like... Red Dead Redemption, which is quite fun. Uh, I can't give anything more away than that. Um, but yeah, here are the flower patches. I have some, hang on, let me switch it to nighttime. Look at that, isn't that adorable? I love that. Oh, and I also put some lights on the fountain just to make it sort of light up a bit better. I will be putting in these lamp posts just to help brighten up the paths. But um, apart from that, I think that's pretty much all I did, pretty much. Uh, how do you get a block quickly? Like when you click on it and it goes in your inventory, you press the middle mouse button. Hold on, Ugh. can you, it's this one. It's where your scroll wheel is. So you just like middle click that. Um, you can configure in your uh, settings if you want. So uh, definitely go and do that. But that's what I've been doing. Add cheese. I know I haven't added cheese yet. I will. Maybe not today though. Maybe not today. Um, you. Oh yes. PC for swim. Yeah. It's just to do with um, I think how the, the different. Hang on. There's a piece of hair. I washed my hair today and it's like not. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. It's like not listening to me. Midnight Bianca, thank you so much for the five Abigail Pinehaven memberships. Who did it go to? Da -da 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 -da. Freedom Crew, Rose Eventing, Mocha Loves. Oh no, wait, that's just Mocha talking. Sorry. <laughs> Naria P, Bethany SSO with Bella. Thank you so much, Midnight Bianca. Can everybody just say thank you? Thank you, Midnight and Bianca. Because when they gift memberships, it could go to literally anyone in the chat. It could have been you. You can't target it to people. It's literally just random. So that's so exciting. Congratulations, Bethany um, and everybody else as well. Uh, it has started. It has started, Snow. You are correct. Abby, are we going to help pick out names for any horses you're putting in the barn? Possibly. I want to build the barn first and then sort of get my portfolio of horses. Um... <laughs> thank you we really appreciate it thank you thank you so much and of course you're helping the channel uh by supporting me as well so i do very much appreciate that so we've got some things to do today um we won't be adding horses i'll just say that right now we won't be adding horses today we've got a lot of building to do um swim horses are really high maintenance so i don't really want to be adding like 10 15 horses that i then have to take care of every day <laughs> so um you you made your own swim barn congratulations freedom that's awesome um, 
Um, of course, we, we definitely do have to add Mule. So, um, we have a couple options. So, one thing that I wanted to show you, SSO with Bella, thank you as well. Um, I will stand by bringing Rocky in the barn once it's done. Absolutely, I'm not opposed to that at all. Uh, so, I wanted to ask you guys, Okay, when we forget the paddock shape, the paddock shape I will probably figure out. I wanted to ask which um, paddock fencing do you like most? So this design, I yoinked from Queasy. This is her original design. She has made this um, and she's let me borrow it, the design. Um, and I like it. The only part I don't like is this. You see how it doesn't connect on some points? Um, she also suggested this design for the runs, but in my opinion, I quite like the runs. Um, I think they're nice because they're low. She did make the point of it does kind of look like the horses could jump out if that makes sense. Um, but Sporkle, is she gonna do it? She did this really cute thing the other day where she like stuck her head over it and it was just like, it was really cute because it's like perfect like size for her. Um, Naria as well, becoming a member. Borrow, yeah, I'm definitely gonna give it back. Um, so I was thinking maybe we could change the design, but I do quite like the current run um, fencing unless you guys have a, have a different opinion. Um, I. I do like this, but the only off-putting thing is this, but honestly at certain angles you you can't even see it It's only when you're sort of like yeah, like head on with one of the corners that you kind of see it. So um, I don't know shall we oh my gosh, should I be really bad? I'm gonna go snoop and see what Queasy's doing <laughs> Um, I don't she didn't explicitly tell me I couldn't do that. We can actually have a look at Queasy's current uh, old stables actually So you see how she's done I think hers is with trapdoors whereas I've gone with slabs So you can see how this design sort of can work both ways for straight edges as well as like diagonals So this is sort of, what, what do you guys think of this design? Again, I think it's beautiful, especially like look over there. It's it's literally flawless. Like there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it's just when you're parallel with it that you kind of see see that there's a gap. Do you guys think that that's like problematic or do you kind of prefer? Also, I forgot to mention I had my nails done. Like they were like a purple. They're quite short. But uh, I literally just caught them out of the corner of my eye. So uh, you like it? You love it? Yeah, it's good. Yes. Yes, your Minecraft isn't loading. Oh, I'm so sorry, Onyx. I like it, it's better than your old paddock. Yeah, I know. I've come to accept that my old paddock was pretty bad. It's pretty? Okay, we can definitely do that, but look at Queasy's build style. This is just, it's, it's nuts. Like, the level of detail in this place is just insanity. Genuine insanity. Like, you've even got, like, these roof bits at the top. I don't think they serve a purpose. I think they're just, like, for decoration. It does look awesome. Just have no fences. Free, ra free range horses. Do They could just go wherever they want. That sounds all You sound like, um, maybe you should work at Pisa. <laughs> <Logan>. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye, Hannah. See you. So, it's very cozy. Yes. So, I actually have a, a question. Oh, no. Actually, before I have a question, I'm gonna go She. I don't think she'll like this, but I'm gonna go um have a look at her new barn what's it called so she's made three she's made three currently this was the other one where is it the other one that she was working on last time she sort of decided that this one isn't big enough but um so she's gonna open it to the public to use just dude the level of detail is just insane this this is probably one of my favorites i think i really like this one if she ever put this one up for auction i think i'd try and grab it because it is really really nice like really really nice yeah maybe i could make this like a second like holiday home or something i don't know i try and get it yes um who's peter and what does he want oh do you mean <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna assume that was a joke and I'm not going to I'm not gonna be bamboozled. So the other one was Ka Train no, this is training grounds. Skystorm stables? No. Is her new one not did she remove it? Oh my gosh, she totally did. Is it training grounds? No. <gasps> She's removed it. I'm gonna TP to her anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is her current barn that she's working on. Look at this. Look at that. That's just, it looks like a castle. Look at the flag on the top. There's just, oh my goodness. And it's so cozy. And she's got this like big arena. 
She's got trees. She's currently working on this barn. Um, and you've got like sliding doors, but she's got the web guards, so it's actually used. Isn't that incredible? It genuinely looks like a castle stables. Low key, wish I could build like this. Actually, Queasy also built the racetrack, Cowgirl Mermaid. Um, she doesn't like it anymore. She built it a couple of years ago, but uh, she doesn't like it anymore. But I think it's still incredible. Yeah, this is just amazing. I actually have a question for you guys. So, um, Queasy was proposing the idea. Actually, she you can see her over there. <laughs> I think she's, I think she's AFK. <laughs> I think she's AFK. So she doesn't know I'm here, but I've, uh, I've infiltrated her house. So, um, we were talking and Queasy was saying, um, or oh, I actually, oh, I think, I think she spotted me. <laughs> I think, I think she might've spotted me. She, if you guys are quiet, she, she won't know we're here. She's like a T-Rex. It's only if you move. It's, it's only if you move that she sees you. Okay, so everybody stay really... Yeah, see, I told you. I, it's because we didn't move. She, she didn't know we're there. Okay. <laughs> so I actually broached the subject to Queasy about um, possibly uh, putting her barns up for sale. Like, um, so how it works is you might see people doing it on Ko-Fi. So essentially they build a barn like this and it looks amazing. And then they sell the schematics or the world for a couple of, a couple of dollars. It won't be anything more than 10. Um, but she is really on the fence about that idea. Um, she's never done anything like that before. But just out of interest, if Queasy was to put a barn like this up for sale, just a couple of dollars, would you guys be interested in, in buying it? Uh, just so that we, this is for research purposes, of course. Um, but I am trying to convince her to do something like that because uh, she is currently a student and uh, it would very much help her finances if she was able to just get a bit of pocket money. Yes. Um, actually, T-Rex had really good eyesight and that was just for uh, uh, actually. Yeah, well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I'm poor. Yes, I will. <laughs> I'd buy it. Yes, I was just just for research purposes. It's not set in stone, um, but I think it might be a fun idea for people that sort of want to have a bit of access. This is why she hasn't enabled the waystone. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> the the waypoint is just called Quag with like a couple of G at the end. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I think I've done. Uh, I'm done harassing Queasy now. Let's take one more look at the barn. It's just stunning. Uh, let's pop back to... So, this was originally going to be called Pinehaven Acres. But after changing the roof to blue, I kind of feel like this isn't Pinehaven Acres. To me, Pinehaven Acres has to have a pink roof. So, I've called it Summer Song Stables. Say that ten times fast. Summer Song Stables instead. That's a lot of S's. Um, because the one across the way, so just across here, is Springleaf. So we've got Springleaf and Summer Song just across the way. From Actually, they're almost like... Exactly. Like, you could probably build a road across to these guys. Um, I'm Again, I'm not super happy with my new build yet. You can kind of see it's big, but I feel like it's not very useful at the minute. But uh, we're going to change that. We're going to change that. Queasy skin is cool. cool. She made it herself as well. She made that herself as well. She's a very talented individual. So I wanted to ask, what do you guys want to jump into today? Um, are you feeling decorating? Because we could do, we could decorate the wash stalls if you guys wanted to. Um, I think there's a wash stall over here. I say wash stall. It's more of like a grooming tack up station. Um, are you guys feeling, feeling more building? Because we could definitely put like a shed, an outdoor tack up wash stall um we could even do start on the clubhouse maybe there's of course the indoor arena that needs to be looked at or we could try paddocks i'm not too keen on doing paddocks live because i feel like they're very much trial and error but i need to decorate it for christmas i do i think i'll wait until december to do that um decorate you guys are feeling more decoration okay so we could definitely do a um a decoration for the wash stalls i think uh, give me seven ounces of Kit Kats and I'll make a train connecting them. Was that to... I, I feel like that was a bit left field, but... Or it's a, it's it's a it's it's a saying that I'm not aware of. Either way, I'll put that down on your Christmas list. I don't know how I'm gonna get seven ounces of Kit Kat, but I'll I'll try. I'll try to do it. Um, <laughs> oh, that's cute. Mm, Kit Kat. Oh, now you got everybody talking about Kit Kats. I think the chunky Kit Kats are, are the best, in my opinion. So, how I usually do the wash station slash tack up stations is I have glass. I could also do, mm, I could also do fences. That's possible as well. 
Uh, let's try... Is it grey or cyan? We could try a couple. We could try a couple. Um, or... Ooh, there aren't really any fences that I like. I mean, this is kind of nice, but also kind of not really. Uh, we can have a quick look through fences, actually. Ooh, I do like the fence... Uh, the fence? The fence thatch picket. There we go. Slow it down and I'll be able to say it. Uh, yeah, these aren't really what I'm looking for. So normally what I do is... Is this any good? No, that sucks. Is this any good? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So I do it sort of like this. So you have... Ooh, maybe that's a bit too see-through though. Maybe I'll have to do it with a different block. But uh, I sort of have like a divider in the middle and then please tell me there's a center. I think this is the center. It's going to be slightly... Those are not the fences you're looking... These are not the fences you're looking for. Um, they, it's never going to be slightly, like, off-center because of this, this like, sort of half block on this side that we're just not going to have here because of the, uh, the stall. So, let's get a hitch. Um, we'll do the... Oh, we could also do cross ties. <gasps> Should we do that instead? Ooh, let's do cross ties. So normally I have the faces, like I have a horse facing down this way, but if we flipped it, the horses could be facing here and have cross ties. That's quite nice actually. So um, I think I'm gonna have to match the design sort of with the stall. So let's try, so the middle would be here. Uh, the one sort of annoying thing, you could even have yeah, that come into play. The one annoying thing is when you have a horse attached to this hitch post, if if you have two horses attached, if you want to take one off, you have to take both off. So that's just a tiny bit annoying. Um, and a second problem is I can't fit the cross tie in this side. Her, unless I had it like uneven, I put like this here. Okay, so we're trialing and erroring, and that's perfectly fine. Then I think I'll move... You'd really want more of a divider, I think, so... Huh. Should we get a Sporkle? Let's, let's go get Sporkle and see if... How she fits in here. Oh, actually, I need to put this here. So that does look a bit weird, but we're going to ignore it for now. We can, ch we can change it. We can definitely ch change it. Where is Sporkle here? Hi, Sporkle! I should put a halter on you, shouldn't I? Let's put a pink halter on. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Oh, okay. There we go. We got it. All right. So let's go ahead and grab Sporkle. Um, she can come out this way. Come on, Sporky. Let's go. Uh, oh, okay. She's stuck in the door. Sporkle, come here. Come on. You can do it. I know you can fit through there because you went out that way. Come on. Is it? Is she, can she not do it because of the shavings? Oh, that's so silly. Oh, that's so silly. Is that true? Oh no, she's just not going in. Sporkle, hello? Spork, 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 sporkle? Yeah, she's like not. Okay, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Okay, so it was something about the doors. Maybe she genuinely couldn't come back inside then. That's a bit annoying. I might have to re rethink that design, but that's fine. Come on, Sporkle. The leading in this mod is a bit rubbish. Um, like, as you can see, like, I'm very clearly leading her in one direction and she just, like, doesn't know where to go, which is a bit of a shame. So let's, uh, let's lead her in here and then, ooh, turn her around. Do one and do two. Okay, so she is cross-tied, but she doesn't seem to care. Let me just, can I, can I skedaddle you? Yeah, so the cross-ties don't really work too well. That is that is a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping it would force them to sort of stand in the middle. But that's that's okay. Yeah, that, okay, that, that does kind of suck. Okay, so it's more of a, a concept that we like. It's, it's more of a concept. So I think for the, hmm, for the divider, we could just do this. Yeah, we could just sort of do, it's quite deep though. Should I set this further back? Because I feel like... I feel like it's a bit silly to have this much space back here, right? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to set it back a bit. So maybe like here. Maybe do it here. Ooh, that does look a bit weird on that side. But that's fine. It's fine. Thank you. That's really nice, Angela. Uh, that's not right. 
this here, put this here, this here, and then do this. Ooh. Is that better? Cross ties a bit lower, you think? So like here. Is that... Do you not normally have like high cross ties? So like here? Hang on, let me... I'm gonna have to see if I can scoot Sporkle in here. Okay. Also, would you, in a grooming station, would you have mats on the floor? Uh, so that you can, like, so the horses are kind of more, like, accommodated for? Or would you have, like, a brick where you could easily sort of sweep it out? Um, which one do you guys have in your barns if you have them? Or would you build it in as well? Mats? Yes, mats. Okay. So we do have... Ooh mats right let's do the medium rubber mats and we could kind of do it or uh, we'll do it with the wand actually boop and oh actually yeah that that's kind of hold on let me do that i want it to actually look like a mat hold on let me just double double make sure i set that right set uh swim rub, rubber mat None of this is... Is it medium? Here we go. Medium rubber mat. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that. That looks like an actual mat that we've sort of put down. Hang on, my hair is like all up in... All up in my grill. Let me move it out of the way. Um, yeah, so I like that very much. Let's grab... Ooh, that's not right. Here and then here. Here we go. That doesn't look... That's a, oh, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it does make them look a little bit off-centered, but... Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm crazy. I'm just... I'm just crazy. Okay, I like that. I like where we're going with this. The server address is pinecraftequestrian.com. The roleplay, which I'm currently on, is not open yet. Um, but if you want to go play the SMP, which is a survival server, feel free to do that. It's completely free to join, and uh, there's a whole tutorial there to help you, and it's a lot of fun, and I love the community on it. Anyway, um, so I think for sort of decoration, I think we've got like the structure down and I don't think you'd have an indoor wash bay, right? Because that would like, you'd end up with water all over the floor. You'd, you'd instead have it like outside, right? Yeah, generally in line with the horse's head. Ah, okay. So I think uh, if I went any lower, I think it wouldn't be, it would be too low. So I think there's okay. Uh, thanks for the tips though. I didn't actually know about that. So usually when I'm decorating a wash stall, I grab the half barrels. Um, so I'm gonna grab maybe a pink one. I'm just gonna grab a couple colors and see what sort of fits. Err. Yeah, those are some good colors, I think. So I think I'll put like, uh, I usually put like a pink bucket there. Then I pair that with the item frame. Swem adds a an amazing item frame that's basically like an invisible item frame. So let me get a sponge. This is like my favorite decoration technique is to just do something like this. So you pop down the item frame and then you put down the, the sponge. And now it looks like a little sponge. You have an indoor wash bay? Oh, that's so fancy. I feel like I haven't seen uh, much of those. Uh, so we'll grab our water bucket and we'll just sort of fill this up a little bit. So it sort of looks like you can sponge the horse down if need be. Um, now for the grooming boxes, one of my favorite things to use because there isn't an actual grooming box um, item is to use coolers from the Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Ali at the yard, thank you so much for 199. I hit 100 subs and I fell off today. I love your videos. So congratulations on 100 subs. Can you imagine 100 people in a room? That's just so many people. Congratulations, Alia. That's so exciting. And I hope you're okay from your fall, but every time you fall off, you become a better rider. So you've just become a majorly better rider now that you've fallen off, but I really hope you're okay as well. Um, hi, Dutch. How you doing? Um, so back to what I was saying about the coolers. Um, so normally I pick, you can pick like gray, but I kind of want to do gray. Yeah, I think I'll do gray actually. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I think it'll do great. So, um, we could, you could put the cooler here as sort of like an easy to grab thing. I think as well, having some lockers would be a good idea. Um, they show up as on, as white on here, but on, on the actual like block, they look great. I'm good. Yes. Thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of people snowy. You are correct. That is a lot of people. So I'm thinking back here, we do want to create a bit of like, 
sort of like um, a strong unit. Thank you again, Alia, for your donation. Really appreciate it. Um, so that, but because the thing is, is look, the it, it, Sparkle, can you? Yeah, see, here we go. So she doesn't really use the stuff back here. So you do sort of want to have, like, you wouldn't want a table, for instance, like that would just be too big. But having sort of flush lockers would be good, I think. I might end up changing this though. I also actually wanted to put a locker here. And this will be the med kit. So inside we'll put like fly spray, we'll put bandages, we'll put all of that good stuff. Uh, Cause I imagine this is like the first aid kit in the barn. I might put one down the other end as well. So um, so that's all, all good. In the meantime, let's also just grab another item frame because, uh, oh, there's shelves as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so there's also a brush course we want to have the brush down so for this maybe i put uh, maybe one here so we've got like a brush on the floor so it's just sort of been like thrown actually maybe instead of that we put it here so it sort of looks like i don't know if you guys have ever done this you've been in a rush and you're like brushing your horse and then you're like okay i've got to go so you just kind of like chuck it like where the horses won't step on it or eat it or whatever um and so it's sort of been like chucked under there so this is a fancy barn but like it's in use you know so there's gonna be a little bit of mess there's gonna be a little uh, a little bit of stuff about um i actually recently did attack room let's see what other stuff we have available i don't really want to put a spigot down Maybe. Er, da, 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 da. What else would you have in like a wash bay? Hydrate. Okay. I am hydrating. You should hydrate too. <laughs> All of my brushes are on the floor. Yeah, I can imagine. When, when you're dealing with horses, there's just so much to be done and so little time. So um, stuff will just sort of end up on the floor. Um, oh, a wheelbarrow. I, I feel like you wouldn't necessarily have a wheelbarrow in the wash bay, but you would have it maybe around. Um, personally, I think the... I've, I've already got a pink bucket, so maybe I'll do like a dark green wheelbarrow. Yeah, maybe... Oh, maybe put that... Maybe put one here, actually. Oh, actually, I don't like the handles. Oh, there we go. That's good. That's good. So it's sort of been like, you know, you can wheel it around, stuff like that. Um, I think we're, we're making progress, but there's, I feel like there's something missing. I was also thinking of maybe doing like a window here, but I have, you know, as you guys know, don't have a good track record with windows. So maybe I'll just leave that for now. Oh, maybe a saddle rack. Would that be silly? Or a tack box. There's cones as well. We could do cones. I was thinking sort of, what was the first thing I said? Attack box. Could do attack box. Uh, yeah, I just feel like there's something missing. Like there's there's an element that I'm missing to this. And so I'm trying to look for it in the swim tab, but I'm just not sort of seeing it. Oh, it was a saddle rack. That was what I just said. Let's do a saddle rack so there there are these um like wooden ones that are from a different mod and then obviously you have the swim ones but i kind of imagine like like i mean you could maybe back here actually not there you wouldn't want it on the floor um maybe like a tack box possibly could do that um the fly spray we do i i do have but i can't place it i don't think you can and look, if I put it, I think if I do this, yeah, it looks, I mean, actually, that's not a bad idea because it's a 3D texture, it kind of works. Maybe like here? So it kind of looks like like a bottle has been sort of knocked over. That's kind of fun, actually. That was a good suggestion. The other thing I was thinking of was, I mean, we've got obviously a saddle rack. Actually, that's a good idea because I think normally, Oh, that would be cool. Realistically, if you came in and you've just had a session with your horse and you're getting them untacked and you want to put them away pretty quickly, you'd take off the saddle and probably just hook it over this like barrier here. But I do also have this back here. So let's just pop a saddle on kind of quickly. That does look a bit weird. I won't lie to you. It looks a bit out of place. I'm not really feeling that. I do actually have the placeable items mod, so I guess we could do, could try doing like a bucket, but they look a bit, hang on. Yeah, if I put like a bucket back here, maybe. 
Although it's kind of being lost in the corner. Hang on, fuck it. I could do the one filled with water instead. Maybe that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Maybe with this we can put another sponge. So both sides, maybe this one's wet. Yeah, we'll put a wet sponge here. So I'll just kind of uh, put that on its side. So it looks a bit more dynamic. Looks a little bit more dynamic. Maybe, I mean, there's lots of stuff. Oh, I've just minimized it. Okay, moving on. Um, we do have other stuff we can put down like apples. Um, apples. I mean, there's sticks, but why would we need to put down a stick? Okay, I personally don't need to put down a stick. I mean, there's like books, but do we really need those? I'm just kind of thinking, I want like a decorational item. We don't have any lights in actually. We should probably pop some lights in. Yeah. We could, oh no, cause this isn't really a wash bay. It's not really a wash bay, a crop. We can't really put down a crop. I don't think there's even like crop. Yeah, there's not even like a crop texture. That's, that's sad. I do, I, that is one thing I think the swim mods needs more of is 3D textures to like place. That would be quite nice. Let's see what we've got in here. Maybe something is like transferable. Not really seeing, again, most of the stuff we already have down. I mean, we've got like an apple, but that, that looks silly, right? Yeah, it looks silly. It's, that's a silly goof. Don't want a silly goof. Maybe back there we've got another cooler because the coolers seem quite nice. Cooler. Maybe this one's purple oh actually i kind of like the yellow one let's put the yellow one down so like the coolers here as like a grooming box sort of thing i'm doing well thank you riding with billy yes a bunch of mods make the game so much more fun apples 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 absolutely <laughs> fairy lights in the wash stall yeah the thing is, is it does have a skylight and as you can see here it's very aesthetic actually no this is the lighting from it Ooh, that's that's nice. Where is the lighting from this? The window? Oh no, from over here. Oh, that's fun. Um, yeah, I don't. I the lockers aren't working for me. The lockers are not working. We could put them here instead. I kind of like that better actually. I mean, yeah. So you kind of have like a set of lockers where you can maybe put like medicines or like ointments, maybe, may, may mayhaps a treat box. I don't, there isn't really a treat box we can put down. Cause I kind of imagine, hold on. So I know these are real actual cookies, but they could also be like horse treat cookies. So you just like grab one from over here and then like walk over. Um, ooh, a farming hoe. Hang on, what does this look like? I mean, that's kind of a big hoof pick, but it does kind of look like a hoof pick. Uh, maybe we can kind of... It's kind of a shame it's so big because I've never known a hoof pick to like have such a long handle. But it is... Ooh. Ah, so that one makes it look like it's like stuck in the ground. Oh, that was like leaning against something. Oh, there's two. Oh, hang on. There we go. What else can we do with this? A lot, a lot of stuff. A, a lot, a lot of stuff. I mean, I could just kind of put one here. Say I don't like that. Can we put it here? I mean, it doesn't fit great. It does still kind of look like a tool. First aid kit. That's sort of what this is supposed to be. Unless we put down... Is there maybe another, like, like box of some sort that maybe is red? Oh, actually, because the coolers... Oh, the coolers do, do come in red. But they don't exact, they look more pink to be honest. Wait, let me take this out into the sun. Yeah, like that, that's pink. What do you mean that's red? That is not, that's not red, that's pink. I mean, obviously this is like a light pink one. Come on, those, those are, that's pink. That, that is pink. I was gonna suggest that I put down like a cooler to represent the first aid kit, but eh, not really working. It's not really working. Um, We could, it might end up looking absolutely atrocious though. So a design I used to do, I haven't done a design like this in ages, was, uh, what was it, glowstone? It was uh, a solarium. 
Uh, I don't think it's gonna work because this is a four. It has no middle. Well, technically it does, but also it doesn't. Uh, okay, let's just. This is gonna look so bad. I can feel it right now. So you put like a solarium. <laughs> I can already feel this not working. So you do like this, and then you do like this. Um, and this, if you don't, if you guys don't know, oh, that doesn't look too bad. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. A potted plant whom we shall call Jerry for emotional support. Emotional support potted plant. I bet I can do that. Maybe. <sighs> Definitely not a glass table. A glass table would be a terrible idea. Um, maybe. Because we could put maybe Jerry back here, actually. Let me pick this up. So put a little table and then put a pot. And then. Did you specify what plant? Should we maybe have a fern? I feel like ferns are fun. A little fern. So we have a pl plant pot. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, I can. Yay. Here's Jerry. This is Jerry. I think he's doing fine, actually. Oh, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no. Oh no, I flooded the place. Okay. No collateral, luckily. Okay, no collateral. Nobody panic. Um, and then maybe I'll put this here. Yeah. Actually, I don't hate Jerry. I really don't. I mean, it, it's, it's a bit silly goofy, but he's there, you know? Do you use trap doors to cover the glowstone? Maybe make the first layer like two blocks. Do you mean two blocks across? Because technically that is centered. That is technically centered. I also don't like the chain. How, we, how do we feel about the solarium? Maybe we could do black instead. Maybe that would look better. Actually, yeah, that will look better. E. Yeah, so how do we how do we feel about the solarium? Wait, I just did it with the same color. Oh my goodness, I just had a massive brain fart. Hang on. <laughs> let me let me rectify that. There we go. Okay, yeah, that, that looks much better. So how bring it down a block? I feel like that's too low though. You don't like it curved? I kinda do though. Let's have let's have a look at trapdoors. Maybe we can sort of cover it with. I'm thinking uh, that's wool. I don't really want wool. Maybe black. Black metal? Oh, pardon me. Hang on. <laughs> Just choked. Um, yeah, black metal might work. Like this. We could even do it at the front, to be honest. Do you like this? Just possibly. Maybe, perhaps, perhapsably working. The un oh, the only problem is, is uh, do you block in the middle and on the side a stair? Thank you, Snow. I appreciate that. Not sure about it. Yeah, another thing is, is now that these are here, I can't like put stuff here, so it does kind of look a bit, a bit goofy. That yeah, that looks a bit goofy. I mean. Eh. I don't hate them. Do you have glow slabs? I don't think any of the slabs glow. I can have a look though. Mm. No, it doesn't look like it. That's a shame actually. They definitely should have like glowstone slabs and glowstone stairs and stuff. That would be nice. Unfortunately not though. Unfortunately not. I do have daylight sensors, but uh, it wouldn't really make sense to put them on here because you might as well just have them on all the time. Um, okay, I know we're on the fence. I kind of like them. They do look a bit, maybe like a little bit goofy. Maybe there's a slab or something, but that, that might look even worse. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that voice crack? Worse. Oh my goodness. That, that was that was quite something. I, I don't think I've had a voice crack that bad in quite a while. Um, <laughs> moving on swiftly. I mean, you can do something like that. Maybe? Mayhaps? I don't think I should bring it down a block. I really don't want it close, like, too close to the horses. Like, it's just... I, I want some sort of room to do it. Worse. I know. I thought we weren't going to talk about it, but that's fine, I guess. That's fine. Um, let me... Uh, okay, I'm just going to put them in both sides and maybe see how I feel about it. Uh, so this is here. Three. And then do one. Whoopsies. Two. Three. 
There we go. I mean, this is getting a bit close to the window, but I think it's doable. It is doable. There we go. Yeah, like, um, I think time will tell if I hate them or not. Time will tell. I mean, I could do flat ones, but I, th I feel like I just don't like... Like, they, they just look like panels. Like, they look less like they're trying to be a solarium. Because that's the thing is the solariums are, like, curved. Obviously, we can't get curved in Minecraft. But this is sort of as close as I can get. The flat ones just don't work. They, they don't, like, show what I'm, I'm trying to... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Add the black slab back. I don't really like it. Nah, it looks too bulky at the front. I mean, I could do trapdoors, but like, eh, eh. Nah, I think those are fine. I'm happy with how that's come out. Um, I think we've pretty much got everything we've wanted. Yeah, I think so. You wouldn't normally put hay nets in a grooming, um, a grooming uh, station, would you? I don't think so. I do not think so. Uh, I'm just thinking, like, is there anything else decoration-wise I could put down? I kind of feel like we, like, fairy lights would make it look a bit too kind of whimsical, and that's not really what I'm going for. The solarium does bring quite a lot of light, which I uh, love. But other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. Maybe in here could even use a bit of, a bit of light. Like, in this corner, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I think this corner looks a bit bland. I'll probably tackle that another time, though. I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, I can just... I'll just copy-paste it over here. I don't know how well stuff will copy-paste, so I'll just leave that for, for off-camera. I did, of course, uh, copy-paste... Ooh, that doesn't... That doesn't belong there. Um, I did, of course, copy-paste the front to be the same. So, I think what I want to do next is to copy-paste the... Um, the runs now I, I want to do the uh, like the area separately because otherwise all the foliage will look the same and that will be a bit silly so if you do uh, copy yeah i think that's about right and then i think i have to go here paste yeah there we go there we go okay this is exactly what i'm going for this is exactly, oh, this is exactly what I'm going for. I say, messing it up. Let's grab this corner and this corner and then go copy. So we'll just like, uh, I think this is actually the last one. I might be wrong though. Paste. So that will go up to there. We need one more. So we'll just slide in here and do this. Yeah, I think that's right. I think so, yeah. Actually, let me remove this because this isn't right. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we have we have our out outline pretty much. Um, yeah, I did see that it was a bit dark in the stables. I will probably do some more skylights right at the top to kind of help and maybe do some hanging lights, maybe? Uh, I'll figure out like a lighting system. I don't want it to necessarily look like fluorescence. But I do want it to look quite bright. Maybe more of a warm bright than anything else. There we go. Uh, I think that's all of them. Now all I have to do is just copy this and this. And then I just paste in wherever it's missing. So copy and paste. There we go. That's looking good. Only a couple more to do. Oh, Giovanna, I'm so sorry to hear that you're sick. I'm definitely coming down with something, and I think I've given it to my dad as well. But, oh well. That's, it, it happens, you know. Yeah, and I was away, so I probably picked it up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. You should add Jericho. I do have Jericho. He's somewhere. I don't know where that somewhere is, but he is somewhere. Here we go. All the runs are done. I'm quite happy with that. There is a minor issue that Sporkle can't actually, or any of the horses can't. Like, they can leave, but they can't get back in. Don't know how that's possible, but there we go. It's fine. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So we are, we are coming along. My only concern is we do sort of have these big green areas that I don't 
I'm not doing anything with right now. I'm not necessarily saying that I would put like a round pen or an arena in these sections, but maybe a bit more decoration like like trees and stuff. I have been recommended by Queasy to put in some trees, so I'll probably do that at some point. But the second thing I sort of wanted to tackle is, um, Queasy just gave, gave herself a debug stick. <laughs> um, the second thing I wanted to tackle is specifically over here, I wanted to sort of have like, like, you know, when you, you've just come out of this end of the barn, this is where it's not ugly, but it's more practical. So, so like there's going to be like a shed with the hay in it. Uh, Ghost in the stable is scaring the horses. Yeah, they can leave, but they can't come back. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's so sad, Alan. I'm really sorry to, to say that, uh, to hear about that, sorry. Jericho is at the racing track. He's not actually, I was doing some recording with him. So I think he's at one of Queasy's barns, I think, mayhaps. Um, so I think back here, I'm gonna do it sort of square. That might be the death of me, who knows. Let's try doing set granite. There's a granite. Either way. I'm setting it. Oh, I think it. No, I think that's fine. Or is it? Hang on. No, it is fine. There we go. Okay, so we have kind of like a bit of a courtyard. I'm going to have to get rid of all of these seeds that pop up when you uh, well dead it away grass, which is just so, so handy. I love, I love this. This is, this is great. Um, so I'm thinking back here, maybe out here, for instance, a wash bay. A, like an actual, I don't exactly know how I'll make it usable, but I know that the swim has a hose. I'm just gonna try something out, okay? I'm just gonna try something out. I'm pretty sure this isn't a feature in swim to hose a horse down. I wish it was, but I don't think it is. Let me grab my test subject, who is a Sporkle. She did an amazing job standing. Oh, one of her, yeah, one of her uh, things broke. Oh no, it just wasn't showing. Okay, that's fine. Come, Sporkle, I'm bringing you to my second location. I am really liking that grooming bay, actually. Um, come on, Sporky, let's go this way. They're, they're kind of slow when you're leading them, but it's fine. <laughs> oh no, your Minecraft keeps crashing. That's a shame. Sometimes it can be that you're running too many mods, but um, it could also be that the mods are unstable themselves, so, you know. Um, Abby, we do have genetic animals. Yes, we do have. This is a lot of, there's a lot of mods here. Like oh, a lot, a lot of mods. Um, so do not worry. There's loads of stuff to play with once we once we are opened. Uh, at the minute, we're still in testing phase. There's a couple things that sort of need to be ironed out before we can go live, but um, it should be pretty soon. It'll definitely be before, maybe around December. How many have we got here? One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Here we go. So the reason I'm putting in this wall is because I want an area that we can wash. Although I guess... No, I'll do it that way. Because you could also have it open it, maybe? Like a shed? You know, I'm going to I'm going to be extra and I'm going to try and follow whatever image has just popped up in my head. I wish I could show you it to you guys. I think I watched a video with somebody who had like a wash bay like that. I don't know. Let's try it. So maybe actually instead of granite, we'll go with diorite to kind of stick with the barn theme. And do we even... Oh, that's kind of a big wash bay. Hold on. Maybe... So we want it to kind of be centered. Yeah, we want... So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do we want it to be centered there? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So we do want to have a middle. Uh, let me just check that she'll fit in that. I'm pretty sure she will, but we'll have to double check. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that'll be perfect. So we'll put like cross ties at the end again. <laughs> A Christmas, live on Christmas, but what about me? I've got to spend some time with my family too. I mean, I could, but I can't, I can't guarantee I'd do a live stream on Christmas because Christmas day is, is very important for me and my family, but more for me because I just love Christmas so much. It's like my favorite time of the year. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need to move this here. There we go. Um... 
do this here. So let's do a wall and do a diorite. Oh, is there no polished? There might be, hang on, let me do polished. Oh no, there's no polished diorite wall. No, no, my matchy matchy dreams has just come crashing down. I guess we could do endstone. We could try endstone, do it like this. Um, like this, one, two, and then like this, one, two, da, 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 one, two, one, two. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm kind of thinking, don't know where I'm gonna put the cross ties, but they'll go in somewhere. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe like a little roof on the top. Now I have historically not been known to do roofs very well. So this might be a complete eyesore. I can't guarantee that it won't be. And then do this maybe. Yeah, okay, okay. So I'm not looking for like a huge roof, but then maybe doing this. Doing this. Er, doing this. Okay, so we've got kind of a stepping stone roof so far. If I keep going at this rate, it's going to be absolutely ginormous, which is not what I want. So this will be the last one, and then maybe I'll flatten it out. Maybe. Does that look stupid? I feel like that'll end up looking a bit stupid. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So for here, I think we had this and then was it this i think yeah it looks like it so we had this here uh okay okay wait i know how to do it so do this and then this here we go we're making progress we're making progress then this here we go look at me i'm the master of shapes i'm the shape whisperer uh oh no the shapes are fighting back uh then do this there we go and i think this yes okay so it looks a bit like a shed but it's kind of fine i think maybe i'll maybe i'll step back and absolutely hate it but uh for right now i think it's fine i think so maybe we'll make it one block yeah we could do that so oh no okay it doesn't reach maybe just do this I guess. I mean, it, maybe you do this. Is that stupid? Does that look stupid? That feels <laughs> that feels like it looks stupid. Okay, let's do maybe this. I may I may have just gone and ruined it, but oh, we will see. That's not too bad. I don't hate that. I don't I don't hate that. Yeah. I think I think I don't hate that. Okay. Okay, so my kind of vision is you can still wash the horses when it's like cold outside maybe when it's raining um obviously you'd have to like dash with the horse inside the barn uh if it's raining to stop them from getting like dirty from the rain but i think this is doable i think this is very 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 doable so for the we could put web guards actually maybe we should do that so let's see what the care web guard looks like oops is this the biggest one no this is that kind of works. I mean, you can open them, which is kind of silly, but maybe not. Uh, so we have the web guards there. Then I think we'd want web guards here as well. It's kind of great that they fit so perfectly. Oh, or not. You can just go ahead and prove me wrong. There we go. I'm happy with that so far. I am happy with that. Um, then we'll go... Uh, that won't work. This and then this. That doesn't work either. Okay, we'll have to do it a bit awkwardly, so it'll have to be like this, but it's fine. It's fine, there's no there's no issue, I don't think. Mm, it's looking a bit makeshift. It is looking a bit makeshift with so many of the web guards. Maybe I'll take out the ones at the back. Do this instead, maybe. Yeah, I think there was just too much texture going on. That's better. That That is better. 
Uh, so if you want to clear your inventory on Java, go to survival inventory if you're on creative. And then shift, hold shift, and then click destroy item, and it'll just get rid of your whole inventory. It's very handy. Um, so I'm happy with that. But now I'm like, I have to put in a faucet. No, not a faucet. A spigot. Spigot. Nope, spit. Spigot. And then put in a block of water. There we go. So... Mm. First of all, where am I going to put the hitching posts? E. Maybe here and here? Will that work? Maybe here and here? Possibly, possibly. Where's our lead? Okay, come, Sporkle. You will, you will model for me. Come, over here you go. And we're going to pop you... Uh, we're going to pop you in here. And then here, okay, she's quite, she's quite far back, but okay, Sporkle, could you just scoot like forward just like a little, just, just like a bit? Okay, she's off centered. That I'm happy with that. Yeah, exactly. Sporkle's the t the test dummy. I like that. Uh, it does look quite dark in there. We could probably put some lights in. I'm happy with that though. I'm very happy with that. So, <gasps> oops, nobody saw that. It literally didn't happen. Are you crazy? Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. Um, so what I actually wanted to do was to do this and then put this back. And then maybe put like, oh yeah, because there's two taps here. That's kind of fun. Okay, so I'll put a, a half barrel underneath it. I'm thinking maybe like, I see you kind of want a gray barrel because this is outside. So it would get like sort of weathered. So um, also with the hose... Uh, see, the thing is, is, like, the hose is a thing. But, like, you can't actually use it on the horses, which is quite sad. I mean, we can kind of, like, fake it with an item frame. I guess. Uh, don't know where the item frame would go, though. That looks rather silly. Um, maybe... Okay, maybe instead we actually put it here. It'll, it'll do. It, it's fine. Um, we'll maybe put bucket there. Yeah, bucket there. Uh, and then water. I'll just fill it up just so it sort of looks like. We'll do the sponge technique because I just, I love doing the sponge technique so much. Maybe we'll put like one here as well. So there's lots of sponges. Do this and this. So this one's, uh, no. Oh, pardon me. This one's dry and this one's wet. Here we go. So we can do like this. Wow, okay, this is coming along. We do need a cooler though. Maybe a purple one? A purple grooming box. And I think maybe I put the grooming box like here. So it's like, oh, actually, cause this is like, oh wait, so this one's, oh. They've like ended up bigger. Okay, hold on. Let me attempt to fix this. If I did it... Oh, that's why. Okay. So if I did them that side, they kind of become bigger because they go on, like, the outside of the block. But the problem is, is, like, these... <laughs> these won't be centered now. I did really like the web guards for the middle, though. I did. Okay, it's... It's not the end of the world. It just... It does look a bit... A bit silly goofy. But that's... That's fine. It's fine. It's... It's... I can work with it. It's just I do wish there was a centered like possibility for the web guards. So technically the one Sporkle's in is like literally half a block bigger. Like half, half a block bigger. I think it's fine though. I think so. I think it's fine. Yeah, I, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do wish it was. I do kind of wish that it was a little... A little nicer. Actually, to kind of mitigate that, maybe we'll do this. Yeah, so it's kind of less less obvious that it's not it's not centered. Uh, then the other one, maybe we'll do maybe like orange. We'll do like an orange um, grooming box back there. Uh, so this this is technically a grooming station, but you're going to be focusing actually the soap. Oh, we could definitely use this. Actually, have I show you guys the, the bubble blower? It's so fun. 
<laughs> it's funny actually because um i go afk on the server a lot whether i'm like recording stuff or i'm setting stuff up for the stream and um Queasy gets my attention, but she'll come up behind me and just blow bubbles at me because I can hear the noise. So I'll just be like typing away and all I hear is like of like the bubbles. So I know that she's like, she's online and she's saying hi. Um, so we communicate via bubbles and I think that's great. Item frame and we'll put this soap on the floor because this will look really cute. This will look so, so, oh, look how cute that looks. I do wish I had a soap block though. That'd be so fun if we had a soap block, but we do not. We do not. Yes, you are, Bella. You are a member. That's why your name is green. Um, <laughs> the bubbles are so cute, aren't they? I love them so, so much. They're just adorable. Ooh. Ooh, could we? Oh, I think we can. Thank you, K's Gaming, for subscribing. Okay, does that... Okay, does that look like a bottle of shampoo? Does it? I think so. You were gifted the membership, Bella. It was either last time or today. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you were gifted it, so it's free and you get it for a month. Um, Spork, I know she is. She's adorable. I actually have a better coat for her. She's the one on the thumbnail that you might have seen, but we're, like, figuring out a way to, to add those because it, it is a bit of a pain. Speaking of potions, actually, maybe... Ooh. What is it? Ooh. Yeah, these kind of look like... Like bottles of shampoo and like soap and stuff. Let's do this. Uh, and then we'll put maybe um, soap on the floor maybe. This one's not going as well. Yeah, you can't even see that. Maybe put it like here. Here. Move this one. Uh, I don't want to put a barrel on both sides. I feel like we need to like mix it up a bit. <laughs> What's the mod pack? So much, so much stuff. It's not currently available publicly. Um, ooh, candles. But it will be at some point, probably. I'm just like trying to look through stuff. Does anyone else have any like suggestions for a wash stall like decoration items? These, these awnings are kind of cute. Kind of goofy, but kind of cute. Maybe, a no, I feel like a table's too much. Hmm. There's so many blocks. So many blocks. Oh, maybe we could do something with, like, the fairy lights. Do they maybe look like something? I mean, we definitely do need lights in here. That's for sure. I used to use these fairy lights uh, in the kitchens because they look like, uh, you know, the strands of, like, onions. That you can Not onions, but, like, herbs. Not onions. <laughs> um, but, like, the, the strings of herbs that people, like, put up in the... Um, in their in their kitchens but it doesn't quite transfer over here unfortunately um let me see i don't really have doesn't really look like a piece of soap oh that's kind of cute oh maybe we could do let's have a look in fairy lights i'm wondering if i could do like an led strip on the back that would be really cool but i think the leds all go down yeah here they are then they're called meteor lights they usually yeah they go down Oh, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping I could do them along, but it's fine. It's oh, and these actually ever so slightly float. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they ever so slightly float, so I probably won't put them there. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to. We could do the orb lights, or we could just go with the incandescent, which is like the tiny little little dot. They work really well, to be honest. Uh, not those ones. They're like the tiny little... Here they are. Just the white fairy lights. So we could put one of these down. Or we can just sort of line like this. Oh, I like that. I like that much better. So we'll do this and this. Yeah, so it's it's softly lit, but it is lit. Alia, thank you so much for your two pounds. Oh, wait. Vampires hate garlic. Never mind. Yeah, I would expect you to know that. I would, genuinely. Glowy onions, give away glowy vampires. <laughs> yeah, wait, you said that right though. Oh, onions. Oh, that's just clicked in my head. Yeah, I don't think they have a disposition on 
on onions. I think it's it's definitely a garlic thing. <laughs> Thank you again though, Alia, for your two pound donation. Um, you got sidetracked by glowing vampires. <laughs> Maybe, okay, we're definitely not putting a fridge out here. That's, that's silly goofy. Maybe, mm, I don't know is the answer to that. I do not know. I mean, maybe actually a bridal rack to put halter, a trampoline, yes. The, every wash bay needs a trampoline. It's just it's just common knowledge, guys. Uh, every wash bay needs a trampoline. Yeah, we'll put maybe a halter down. So it kind of looks like, I don't know why you need a halter down, but maybe it's just a spare one. Let's put a yellow halter for a splash of color. Ali at the yard, thank you so much for the two pounds. How do you become a member? Also, can you do a clubhouse? Yes, the clubhouse is going over there. I'm quite excited to put that down. Um, the membership is, if you look where my name is, uh, it should be next to it. It says subscribe and then join. The join button is the membership. Um, and if that doesn't work for some reason, have a look in the description. I'm pretty sure it's in there somewhere to click. Uh, but if you genuinely can't see at all, it could be that it's not available in your region so perhaps mayhaps um a chair why would why would we need a chair though oh you mean like a star oh, i wish this mod had stores they did like the crayfish's furniture mod did have stores at some point but then they removed them thank you so much alia for your two pound donation yeah they they like redid the mod the mod used to have like toilets and showers and it was really cool and stools and all sorts of stuff but they they like revamp the mod and, and they're not in there anymore. So it's a bit of a sad. It is a bit of a sad. So I'm pretty happy with that. Sort of like an outdoor. Oh, I'm actually very happy with that. That's a really cute. Yeah, that no, that's proper cute. I think I'm not going to do too crazy on the decorating. I think what we've got so far works pretty well. Um, Maybe if I do a shed though, it'll be too, too much. Because I was sort of thinking over here putting like a shed for hay, like a hay shed. It's possible, I could do that. I could do that, maybe. But then, yeah, I might have to do it with a, it with a tool instead though, maybe. Oh, you like it? Thanks. I'm really happy with it. I'm very, very happy with it. I think I'm so glad I changed the roof. The roof style looks better. The roof color looks better. And it allowed me to do so much more to do with the, the slabs as well. So, um, hi, Skittle. I hope you're doing well. Bye, Lynn. Thanks for coming. Welcome back, Skittle. So, let's go ahead and do um, brush. Uh, gr no. Apply. Oh, no. Sill granite uh let's do three maybe uh so i am already regretting this <laughs> i am already regretting this i mean i could do maybe three. oh god no not that i don't want it oh no undo undo quickly undo okay there we go so i kind of wanted it to maybe go like this it's not very even at all, is it? Oh well. Okay. So it's sort of rounded. And then put like a little shed here, maybe? Exactly. Good thing about world edit is you can undo. Imagine if you couldn't undo in world edit. That would I would be out of a career, honestly. There just wouldn't no, nothing would go right for me. Um <laughs> A world edit tutorial because all I know is copy paste and rotate. There's actually some really good tutorials out there. Honestly, they will do a far better job than than I can teach you. Um, if you just Google the basics to world edit, they will explain far better than I can. I honestly have spent many years and many mistakes. Okay, that is definitely not even. That's not even. But it's fine. It's fine because... We're just, we're just going with the flow. Right, guys? Just go. Actually, I'm going to steal some inspiration from Queezy. She's still on like she is. She's probably... I think last time I saw her, she was building a tractor. So I wonder if she's still doing that. We're actually not going to Queezy's current build. We're going to her second build, which was called the... Oh, she, yeah, she's still on like she's doing... She just got a debug stick. Um, I think it's called Cozy Barn. Yes. I'm here to steal inspiration. 
And there's nothing you can do about it. Over here, that was what I wanted to steal. You see that little shed? I very much like that shed. I like this shed a lot. Oh, I really like this shed. Oh, it's so dynamic. Oh my god, it's not even like a it's not even like a square. It's like oh, it's like on an angle. I want this shed. Do you think she'll notice if I nick it? I don't think so. I don't think so because none of you are gonna snitch on me. Um <laughs> because if you did, I would cry. Uh so instead, ooh, baby do do we need to go that far out? No, we don't. Do this. Oh, I set both first positions. That would have been absolutely horrendous. Uh, I actually don't need that. Maybe don't need that either. Do this. So second position and then first position is whoop, is here. Oh, that's a, okay. Okay, first position, second position. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and... We're we just bringing it back for... Why is there 802 blocks? Is there 802 blocks here? That's, that's a lot of blocks. Okay. <laughs> is Yes, Jericho is there. Exactly. Every, I had the scrummiest sandwich at Costa today. Costa is so expensive for absolutely no reason. No, I'm not stealing. I'm borrowing. And if anything, I'm just taking inspiration. I'm not going to literally just paste it in and leave it i am i am gonna change it a bit don't count on how much but i i will i will change it theft <laughs> theft abby stealing okay well that's the wrong way around maybe rotate 90 and then paste that's the wrong way again. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, ro rotate 180. Maybe we'll do it like here. There we go. Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. So we don't need this because this is part of her fencing. Um, we'll get rid of that. Uh, so we have a basis now. I just need to make it um, fit the theme of my barn instead of Queasy's barn. And nobody's going to tell her that I nicked it. No, none, none of you. Literally none of you. Okay, so we'll pop down. That's very, very light. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Yoink. <laughs> Abby's still Jericho. I think Jericho's in the paddock at the minute. I don't think he needs to be here. Let me get a fence. Fence. Arr. Maybe the, this one. That might look a bit weird, actually. I don't know. It looks kind of rough, but it's okay. Uh, it's very textured. Oh! I got... I think I just got caught red-handed. <laughs> um, I, 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 can, I can explain. I... The, the chat told me if I... <laughs> she just said this looks familiar um no you're crazy uh i literally thought of it myself yeah N no it's literally not she <laughs> no the the chat the chat made me chat made me they said i ha had had to there we go. <laughs> Are you gaslighting queasy? No, I don't even know what gaslighting is. Gaslighting's not real, Skittle. That's so weird. Why would you say that? <laughs> um, I, I will be changing up the design. Um, do you think she's mad? <laughs> do, do, do you think she looks mad? <laughs> I think I think she's 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 just processing. It's it's fine. I just she's not using the barn. Um, what's gaslighting? I don't know what that is. Like that's crazy. You've just made that up, Skittle. That's that's insane. Um, <laughs> let's uh, transform this quickly before. Is she looking for other stuff I stole? I think so. She's on the hunt now. I don't think she'll find much. Do you think she likes a wash bay? I hope so. Do you like the wash bay? Oh, th actually, this is a grew 
Ming Station. If she says she doesn't like the solarium, I'm going to be very upset. Because I do like the solarium. It's so cute. Thanks. Thank you. Chat helped me. Chat helped. Yes. <laughs> Didn't you still attack room ideas? Yeah, it was a little less copy paste though. It was more like I went over there, took inspiration. Oh, that's cute because he just called you guys smart. <laughs> yeah, I, I went over there and I had a look round. Whereas I feel like that one was a bit more of a like a direct kind of theft of stuff. Um, but you see, my sister's studying to to be a lawyer, so you know, Queasy can't really sue me at this point. I'm, I'm basically immune from the law. It doesn't matter what what grade my sister got. It all that matters. She's a lawyer. <laughs> I've got a free family lawyer, and nobody can sue me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> TM, I'm kidding, obviously. <laughs> yeah, we're smart. The no, I fixed the window. What are you talking about, Skittle? I fixed the window. Look, it was fixed. And you know what? I'll give credit where credit is due. Queasy fixed the window. Not only did she fix the roof, she also fixed the door and she fixed the window because she said she had enough of... of people yelling and she had actually she actually asked me to remove the paddock because it was paining her to to look at it so that was fair enough that was fair enough um admittedly is she gone she is okay she's she's flown away Ex well i was there and i feel like i was emotional support so that's oops that's not what i meant to do you know i was basically like doing it myself she also made my skin i'm honestly making it sound like i put my best friend to like like work for me like i force her to work for me I, I swear i don't do that or maybe i do who knows uh maybe <laughs> actually to be fair she's got us um playing um games and when we play games she always makes me stay for like an extra 10 rounds and then is like i'll help you if i'll help you and your your broken barn if you play another game and i'll be like okay fair that, that's i feel like that's a fair trade if anything with exchanging skills. I give her my awesome gaming skills and my amazing funny personality in exchange for an incredible barn build, which I think I think it's pretty even in in my opinion. I think it's, it's a pretty good trade. I would recommend. <laughs> Are you paying her? I'm paying her in love and attention. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm paying her in. She doesn't want it, but I'm going to give it to her anyway. She'd honestly rather me not give her anything, but um, I give her my time of day. So <laughs> take Joker back before she hides him. No wonder she's uh, starting to ask money for a poor girl. I've literally made her work for free. And now um, now she's she's broke. I think, wait, what, what block is this? Oh, it is an oat bale. Interesting. Okay, so we have our hashtag totally original shed design. Um, our, our hay bale station. Um, <laughs> this is the thief, Philippe. Open the door. Um, no, never. You can't. You can't come in. I've not. Th Clearly, this isn't theft. Cause, cause, look. This is Queasy's original one, and this is my. Clearly, that's not that. Look, look. The roof is blue. The this roof it, roof is 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 grey. And. This, this is white, so it's not theft. I, I don't know where you're getting the idea of theft from. Like, this is uh, clearly my my very original design. I actually need to yoink these lights from her. <laughs> Let's just uh, pop these in. Don't mind this. Why are they yellow? Can I make them not yellow? Kind of not vibing with the yellow. Okay, so we've done it a bit haphazardly. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is definitely... There, I don't see a similarity, to be honest, at all. Like, don't know why you'd say that. Um, <laughs> so this courtyard is coming along really nicely. I very much like it. Do you guys have any suggestions of what else we could put in the courtyard? Yellow's just karma. Fair enough. I'll take it. Not bad price to pay, to be honest. Um, do you guys think there's anything else that I'm sort of missing? So this is, um, I'm kind of thinking... The front is more of like the showy kind of like, ooh, fancy barn. And the back is the same, but at the same time, it's like, okay, you've got your wash stall, you've got your hay. So it's a bit more like practical. A muck heap, ooh, interesting. 
Ooh, potted more potted plants. Okay, I'll put I'll put that down on the on the sh to add a guillotine. I might have to put that one on the maybe list. I feel like I I wouldn't just I wouldn't have enough use for a guillotine. Um, but maybe if if it gets more popular, I'll think about it. Put in a cheese board. A cheese board. You want me to put in a charcuterie board of cheese? Um, <laughs> more potted plants. A sleepover area. We could do that in the in the um, clubhouse, actually. <laughs> oh, welcome, Pixel Kit. Yes, we're still live. This isn't an older live. <laughs> Please put in a cheese buffet. A statue of Queasy. I'm sure she wouldn't say no to that one, to be honest. Um, <laughs> what do you uh, have currently? So we've got a completely original, like, hay shedded area. Uh, we've got a wash bay. Actually, you know what the wash bay needs? Ooh, there's no center. Or is there? No, this is the center. It looks so off-centered in this one, though. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, in here, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do trap door. So, iron door's fine, I think. Yeah, the iron door will work. And then we'll do water. Uh, so this is gonna look like a drain. You can't see too much of the bottom, so it doesn't really matter if you fill it with water or not. But just just for the vibes, you know, this one won't be filled with water because maybe it's less popular. And there you go. You you have a you have a drainage system. Exactly a drain. Uh, the wash bay needs a fungin. Its own. Its very own fungin. Hundred percent original hay barn. Absolutely muck heap with wheelbarrows. Hmm. Would you want it super close to the barn though? Because, yes, I want to add a muck heap, but I'm like, I also don't want it to be, like, the center of attention, if that makes sense. Like, I kind of want it to be sort of off to the side, but at the same time, like, not out in the middle of nowhere. Trees. We do need more trees, that's for sure. Have a path going off. We could do it here, actually. So we could maybe have like this will be more of like a casual path maybe um should we put it like here or here because like if we put it here it's less hidden but you will be able to see it from the wash bay whereas i feel like we if we put it here it'll still be obvious but maybe we could put like trees here for instance um to kind of like you can imagine like maybe you'd plant a if some flowers and uh like trees so that it blocks the view and hopefully the smell chicken coop that's quite a nice idea actually maybe i might do that somewhere else though maybe not here but i think you guys are right that the muck hoop be uh, muck hoop muck heap being here is a good idea because all of the stalls are like right here a walker i have never known anyone maybe queasy to do a walker in Minecraft that looks good. I've never seen a hot walker in Minecraft look good. Forget about even being like um, usable because like that's, I don't think that's even possible. Um, but for, to make it look good is really, really difficult. I've failed so many times. So many times I've made a walker that just looks just atrocious. It just looks so clunky. It, it looked like a carousel, you know, where they have like the, the, the fake horses on it. That's what mine end up looking like. So I think muck heap here. Yeah, muck heap here. So you would want, yeah, you wouldn't want, oh, uh, would you? Would you have a, a dirt base for the muck heap? Or would you have like a stone um, like base so that it's easy to like scoop off of and easy to like wash down? Or would you have dirt because it doesn't really matter see the trailers and the pony boxes are gonna have their own car park right like by the front i think um thank you ali at the yard for the 79p dirt oh i'm seeing like steel queasy's walker she didn't do it on this server unfortunately yeah alia is slaying thank you so much i really appreciate the support today um some are saying stone some are saying dirt Oh, pond is cute. That's a cute idea. We could do. We might be able to put like a pond here, actually. That might be quite nice. Might be a bit silly, 
but it, it actually no it would be good i think because if the clubhouse is here the clubhouse would have a really good view of like a little pond yeah it's cute okay i'm leaning leaning ever so slightly towards stone because oh i might end up doing dirt though i don't know we'll try out the stone if we don't like it we'll do we'll do dirt okay so uh let's maybe put so if this is the center let's just say uh one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's gonna be way too big hold on let me bring it down to eight eight on each side one two three four five six seven eight yeah that's an okay size and then do hang on if that's 17 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 okay we've just made it actually and then i think this and then do this stone yeah okay so we can change it if need be actually that's quite a big space but like a barn like this it's got what oh i we counted it last time i think it's 16 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14 stalls sorry 14 stalls will kind of make a lot of mess right and you're you're gonna have to like pick up a lot of poop plus maybe you have like paddock horses so yeah i think i'll i think i'll make it quite big i think that's fine maybe okay we might get to like more decorating of the outside of it but right now i just kind of want to get the the poop down just get straight up get the poop down so i think it'll be in the swim blocks because you can actually get i think it's called like fertilizer or something a fertilizer block I don't remember the name of it though. If anybody else knows the name, I can also summon in actual like bits of poop. So that'll be nice. Is this somewhere around here? I mean, there's the soil shavings we definitely want. Oh, here, wet compost block. That's what it's called. Thank you guys. Compost, you're right. Um, we'll definitely put in a round pen as well. My muck heap is about that size for two horses. Oh, <gasps> really? Oh my goodness. I guess you'd have to have like, basically like weekly weekly um clean outs so i'm not very good at this i'm gonna have to alternate my blocks so obviously you'd kind of start with the stuff in the center and then sort of dump stuff on the side uh i think actually we'll make it quite big like a sizable kind of yeah yeah I'll, I'll do that so let's do like this so <laughs> this will this will actually take me quite a while but um i'll try and fill it in as best as i can i probably could have done this with with world edit but i i'll just do it by hand it's all good um <laughs> all the time uh, thank you for respecting the paddock courses of course paddock courses de deserve all of the love and all of the attention and all of the recognition <laughs> poo absolutely snowy we're just putting down all the poop the poop is definitely going down today. Um, we've got some nice blocks to kind of make a, an interesting muck heap, to be honest. So that's that's really nice. So I think most muck heaps won't be sort of perfect, obviously. Um, so there was going to be like like bits that kind of stick up more than others. Um, you'll have like different kind of tiers. It'll kind of look like like a mini mountain sort of thing. So I think I want to make this taller for sure so we definitely sort of want it to come up a bit more at the minute it's looking a little bit flat because it is quite big and you'd imagine there's gonna be a lot of horse poop to be deposited here um in the server we have decided to switch off horse poop and horse peeing if you guys remember the horse peeing was like the bane of my existence on um the single player because i didn't actually realize you could turn it off so we've turned it off on the server we might turn pooping on maybe if somebody makes a decent case for it but uh for now we have we have decided to to go for um more for roleplay muck heaps than actual ones. This paver kind of looks like dried poop. Oh, that's good. Okay, I can use that. What other slabs we can use? Maybe like 
Ooh, Sankota's good. Sankota looks like poop. There's, there's a lot of brown blocks that look like poop, actually. Yeah, I'm happy with those. Oh, there's coarse dirt or podzol. Podzol looks a bit too leafy. Yeah, I think those are pretty good. Abby, Abby, do a ramp. I was thinking about that because the place I went to also had like a ramp. Maybe you could do like an oak ramp up it. But the problem is, is it won't look good because it's Minecraft. So the ramp would go like, like this. So like this sort of thing. It's not really giving ramp. I could probably do it better. I tell you what I'll do. I'll put down all the blocks that I want and then maybe see if I can build a ramp sort of around it. That might work a little bit better. Because um, that did sort of look like I had a staircase going up um, a poop pile, which is an interesting choice. That is such like, oh my goodness, because of the lighting, it's so dark. Is this midday? Yeah, okay, so... Looks kind of like looking into a very, very dark black hole. Um, let's just pop some blocks around. So it is going to look a bit gross. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if people have phobias of poop. But if you do, horses are not for you. Because they make a lot, a lot of poop. All the time. Constantly pooping. And it's kind of gross. But it's okay. To be honest, horse poop isn't that bad to deal with, right guys? Like, generally, horse poop is... Like, yeah, it smells, but at the same time, it's it tends to be, like, solid. And, like, it's not that bad. I feel like dog poop is worse. As somebody who has a little dog, he his poops are pretty bad. So, having it like that. Um, we need definitely more compost blocks. Like this. I don't know if, over time, these compost blocks will dry out. Oh, they are. They are drying out. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's no point doing that. I think, yeah, they're, they're drying out anyway, so they'll dry out eventually. Um, let's put in some soiled... Oh, I can't. Okay. That sucks. Okay, so I can't actually put down the the, uh, the shavings. It, however, though, I can get dark shavings and put some of those about. It looks a bit weird because of how bright they are, but eh, it's fine. So we're just going to kind of spatter that about uh then the next thing we've got to do is the fun um summoning of the swim poop we can do summon hold on i can't type summon swim horse poop there we go i made a little horse poop that just helps give it uh that extra bit of texture they're really good because they're entities so that means they'll sit flush with whatever block you've got um which is just great oh they do sometimes hang off the edge, though. Hold on. I don't really want that. There we go. So, we just got an, a nice bit of texture, I think. Oh, I need to really stand, like, on the block, don't I? Here we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we. I think this, this mock heap is looking nicely varietied. And, um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think maybe we could use some more poop entities. Inhaling this, the pig of... Uh, the, the inhaling the smell of pig feces can actually cause temporary amnesia and cat poop can seriously damage lungs horse poop is at least good for fertilizer honestly cat poop smells like it's damaging my lungs i will say that i will i am not a fan of having to clean out cat litter it's kind of gross but obviously some people really really love cats i'm i do like cats but not as much as like as I do dogs. I like I'd, I'd rather have a dog than I would a cat. I don't know about you guys. Um <laughs> but yeah, I did know that about pigs. That's that's kind of terrifying. Is it because of like the methane content in them? Mayhaps. Mayhaps of the methane content. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So for the path, I'll definitely do that by hand cuz I do want it to be a little bit like more natural um so that it why is that down there? So that it's sort of like it it blends in and it doesn't look as like sort of chunky. Um, yeah, a bit like that. So it'll just like curve off. Then I think I also want to put in like a patch of flowers here just to kind of hide that pile because that pile is actually quite big. And then maybe some uh, like faux trees. 
to kind of put around the place. Um, I'll put a border in. I just don't know what border. And I'm also on the fence with the with the stone. Let's try and change it to coarse dirt and see if that's any better. Do you guys like that better? It's definitely less of an eyesore. I could even just do... Because obviously it's, it's quite square. So maybe having like... Yeah, the flowers will be really healthy. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be like huge, luscious flowers. I could even do like uh, by hand, like do a bit of painting on it instead. Um, wand course. Nope. So nope. Brush. I put the wrong thing in. Uh, sill. Course dirt. Uh, and then two, I guess. Yeah. So we'll just sort of round out the edges a little bit. Um, just a bit like this. Oh, not like that. Undo. I knew that was going to happen at some point. Let's do this and then do this. So it is a bit obvious that it's still a square, but um, <laughs> it's fine. I've tried to even it out a bit. Uh, we can definitely do a bit of like landscaping, I think. You remember someone called Sky? I feel like Sky's a really pretty name. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. So we do, let me just fill this in. There we go. Okay, D definitely need some work and landscaping here. Although I, ooh, I've just remembered over here is quite a bit of land that we could use. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of land over here that we could use. So maybe I don't want the muck pile there. Maybe we, I could relocate that. Or if I just like put like trees all around here and then had like a path going round. Why is it so isolated? That's so funny. I'll build it up, okay? I'll build it up and I'll have like flowers and trees so it'll look less like it's just completely by itself. Um, but yeah, it does kind of look a bit lonely over here. Glad we had that though. And then of course we'll add like wheelbarrows and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, so we made some good progress today. I'm very happy with how the barn looks. Next time we'll definitely do um, maybe the paddocks. And we also have that monstrosity to deal with, which is the indoor arena. Genuinely, if I end up not liking the indoor arena, I'm going to like gut it. And I'm just going to do outdoor arenas. Because honestly, indoors are kind of a hit or miss. And... For me, more often than not, they miss, so we'll see. Good luck on your English mock tomorrow, Skittle. I hope you have a great time, and I hope you get great results as well. So, um, I do actually want to quickly say, where is my everything? That's not what I wanted to say, but I thought I'll... Uh, include that hold on here it is i'd like to say a massive thank you for ali to alia the yard for the 79p donation izzy gamer for the one month membership midnight bianca for gifting to five different people that was very generous of them ali at the yard for the two pounds ali at the yard again for the two pounds ali at the yard again for the two pounds and guess what alia again with the uh atp so ali has been very generous today as has um uh, Midnight and Bianca. So I very much appreciate that. Um, I actually quickly wanted to ask you guys, um, what works better? Do you think the Sunday streams work better or the Saturday streams? I'm kind of vibing with the Sunday streams, but at the same time, maybe I could move them to Saturday if more people are free on Saturday. Um, more Sunday. I mean, I know I'm asking the wrong crowd because if you're here, that means you can make it. But I can kind of imagine if people have stuff going on on, on Saturday, Sunday might be better. Um, I'll do a poll over on my community uh, tab. So keep an eye out for that if you want to if you want to keep today's day. Um, so yeah, other than that, thank you ever so much for joining me. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week and I'll, I'm taking on board all of your suggestions. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!